Lotha to you. Let's discuss some questions from a recent uh, assignment, quiz, whatever. Um, so write down important things that come up. Okay, which of the following is not a characteristic of monopoly? So let's just go through which are characteristics of a monopoly. So uh, demand curve is downward sloping. That's true. You can see that on the graph right there. Produces a unique product. Yes, or they wouldn't have a... Um, uh, they wouldn't have a monopoly. Demand curve is perfectly elastic. That's the answer. Um, it, perfectly elastic demand is only going to be for uh, perfectly competitive. So that's what we mean there. And entry to the market is somehow blocked. So this is referring to perfect competition, not monopolies. It's one of those difference things. How large is the consumer surplus if the market chooses a single price? Okay, so what we're going to do, um, the, we're going to find where MR equals MC. We're going to go to here, right here, and then we're going to follow that up to here where it hits the price. So the price is 50, and then the consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve, but above the price. Okay, so uh, just calculating that triangle. So that would be 30 to 30. 30 times 30 is 9, 900 or 9,000. Let's make sure. Make sure I don't make a mistake here with the zeros, 900, okay? And then half of that would be 450 because that's the area of that triangle, okay? Pharmaceutical company for new medicine, uh, if they get a patent, product is priced higher than it would be, yes. Incentives, yes, it causes, uh, that's an incentive to make a, make a new drug and not higher quantities. So it's just those two, those two answers. Um, I don't really know. You're you're getting a lot of these right, so I don't know why we're talking about all. We're just talking about all these, I guess. Okay. Um, marginal cost is constant, four dollars and fifty cents. How many should they produce? So we're just going to produce up until um, marginal revenue is no longer higher than marginal cost. That's easy. That's six. You, you did that right. Uh, same cost. Monopoly produces less at a higher price. What quantity, if they can perfectly price discriminate. Now, they can perfectly price discriminate. They're going to sell all the way down this demand curve, all the way to here. So closest to nine. I don't think 10 is one of the choices. So nine would have been the answer. Let's take me to the next one. AC unit, contractor wants profit maximized. How many visits will they make uh, in this time period? Okay. Uh, how many visits? MR equals MC. MC equals MR. Okay. Just a lot of practice with, uh, with that. Would it be the competitive uh, equilibrium? We're going to go where marginal cost equals demand. That's perfect competition right there. Uh, which the following is not an example of price. Um, so technically, that is price discrimination. Um, not an example. Buy now and pay later, because you're still paying the same price. So that would not be uh, that would not be price discrimination. Okay, this one, fancy jewelry. Again, profit maximize. MR equals MC. Mark it up. 140, uh, and just go through and answer the question. Um, there will be dead weight loss. Profit maximizing price is 140. Consumer surplus would be one to be a hundred on ten units. This is much bigger. Uh, be a hundred times ten, and then half of that five hundred. You got that right. Uh, and then seven hundred dollars in profit. So go to here. So seventy up to one forty. That's actually right. So, uh, marginal cost pays no fixed cost. How much output will they produce if they can perfectly price discriminate? Uh, just going to go to our marginal cost equals um, the price. So we're going to produce all the way to eight. Okay. This is the demand, basically. Okay. If the if the copyright runs out, then it's going to become perfectly competitive. So it'd be right there. It's a little bit off on that. 220. It's asking, oh, consumer surplus. That's how I did the quantity. So consumer surplus can be down to here and then up to there. So 
It, this thing got moved a little bit. That's kind of weird. Anyway, 10 down to 2, down to 4. So that's 6. 6 times 220. Half of that. 660. You got it right. A lot of these you're getting right. So that's good. Uh, perfectly priced discriminate. Already answered that question. Mm, already did that one. Market for food. Largest consumer surplus. No, that's the smallest consumer surplus. Um, if if they perfectly priced discriminate, everybody's going to pay exactly what they're willing to pay. Okay. Um, so that would be perfect competition because they get the lowest price. Uh, profit maximizing, this is breaking even, right? See, tangent right there. Single price, which is true. They are earning, so go to here, go up here. They are earning a profit. See the difference? The average total cost is below the price we're charging. The average total cost is equal to the price we're charging. Uh, firm chooses a single price. Um, what is the total revenue when it produces eight units? Okay, so go to eight units. What will be the price? 16. Got it right. Price times quantity, total revenue. Over here, marginal revenue, the second unit. So first unit's total revenue is nine, second is 16, so that would be seven. What price do they charge? Again, profit maximizing. Go up to here. A. Okay. Um, you got that right. Producers or consumer surplus decreases if there's price discrimination. Okay. This market is not competitive because we have a downward sloping demand curve. It's imperfectly competitive. But then if you notice, unlike those other graphs, the average total cost is higher. So in the long run, we're going to see exiting in the market. Okay, are you really asking the same question over and over again? Where, where, what's the units? What's the price? Uh, and then we're calculating it, right? Um, here, units, price. It's the difference between the competitive outcome and the monopoly outcome. That's dead weight loss. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, got to. Oh no, not quite. Again, same thing. Uh, so on this one, I'm not going to do it, but with a way to do it, you calculate total revenue. So calculate total revenue all the way down and then calculate marginal revenue. And where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, which you're given is four. That's the quantity. And then you find that back to the price. It's the same thing you're doing on the graph, except you can calculate this based on this. Okay. So there you go. You know what other questions you have, and I'll answer them.